guys welcome back to my channel the locked library is here this is i was gonna say earlier than i expected but it is kind of the middle of the month um this month's theme was moon cross lovers i believe and i have a feeling i know what the book is just because it's such a hyped book at the moment um i think it is the moon that hatched or something, something like that. By Sarah Parker. Anyway. Oh, this is a big book. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, When the Moon Hatched. Yes. Oh, wow. That is a pretty cover. That's like shades of purple and stuff. <gasps> look at that. Oh, the back. Oh, wow. That's... Okay. So we have purple sprayed edges. As you guys know, I love all things purple. I love that. So the original book um, cover, I believe, has like a bluish tint to it. And we've got a nice purpley one. But then look at these sprayed edges. Look at that. That is stunning. That is so stunning. I almost pre-ordered the Fairy Loot Edition um, because that went live a couple of days ago. Um, and I thought to myself, I think this is going to be the locked library book and I didn't want to do it in case it was the locked library book and absolutely the right call because I think this is way prettier than the fairy Loot edition we've got a nice lilac book ribbon and oh, wow okay very pretty foiling on the front as always we've got the matching locked library key we have got this beautiful artwork on the front cover and the back's the same. So this is such a pretty version. I'm really glad, really, really glad that I held off the fairy one. I think this is definitely nicer in my opinion. I know there's going to be a lot of people that disagree with me. So for those that have not heard of this book, just look, look at that, look at the rainbow. Oh, I love it. Oh yeah, and I didn't show you the, like the rainbow stars on the back. Okay. An assassin for the rebellion, Ree's job is to complete orders and never get caught. When a rival bounty hunter shatters her world, Ree finds herself captured by the Guild of Nobles, a group of powerful fae. Crushed by the loss of his great love, dragon rider Calm Vagor took the head of the king and donned his, donned his melted crown. Now on a tireless quest to quell the never-ebbing ache in his chest, a clue lures him into the capital's high-security prison where he stumbles upon the imprisoned rave. Together they seek the truth that threatens to unravel everything they know about their world and each other. And this says, The best-selling sensation when the moon hatched will transport you into a world filled with magic dragons and a love that blazes through the ages. And we got more pretty foiled stars on the bottom there. I'm a sucker for foiling especially ones that go rainbowy. So Sarah Parker is an international best-selling author who grew up on a farm in New Zealand where she spent her days getting lost among the rolling pasture, building forts in the hedge, climbing trees and exploring the forest pathways, making up elaborate stories that never lost her grip on her. Now she lives in Australia with her husband, dog, three children and countless plants and spends her days pouring her stories onto paper rather than throwing them to the wind. Her genre of choice is epic fant fantasy romance and she thrives off dreaming up real complex characters and immersive worlds to get lost amongst. Oh, this is this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have an inbound author letter. Dear Lock Library Reader, I used to live in a world where my nana's ornate mahogany coffee table was laden with so much more than just a layer of ivory lace. Stacked upon it was a tower of fairy and folklore books which spoke fluttered secrets and captured my imagination. I would spread those books across the doily, leafing through the pages until the sun began to set, snacking on cheese, relish and crackers, whilst Nana's knitting needles clicked and clacked, a quiet smile on her face. All around us, her shelves were hosts for dainty fairies with painted wings, for little wooden mushrooms and a hatching dragon ornament I could cradle in my tiny cupped hands. The world is so much quieter now, my hands no longer small. Nana's coffee table is gone, the ivory lace folded up and tucked away in my mother's box, of special things where it's slowly turning yellow with age. 
Nana's warm, knowing smile is now no more than a memory. I cradled just as close as I once cradled that hatching dragon egg, but the magic of my childhood lives on. It's within her books now, nesting on my shelf, next to the fairy with painted rings and a mushroom made of wood. It's within the stories I tell, purging all the wide-eyed wonder she planted in my chest every time I stepped into that warm little home, transported into a realm where fairies hid in bell-shaped flowers and dragons hatched in our palms. I really need to sneeze. Oh my god. <clears throat> so to you lot, library reader, I pass you some of the magic Nana gifted me and ask you to cradle it close. So let me take you on a journey to a world where strange creatures thrive and dragon moons pop the sky, a world where love lives on for eternity. May your fingers ever itch to leaf through the pages of a book that makes you believe in magic. Oh, I am excited for this book. It's so pretty. Oh, wow. It's been a long time since I've seen books that have like artwork on the chapter breaks. That is amazing. I really need to sneeze. I can't wait to read this. I am really hoping it's as hyped as it is. There is a lot going on with this book. If you look around, it is like the next big thing. Um, I will be honest, I read a book from this author, which was included as part of a different subscription box. And it was an okay book, um, but not the best book that I'd read. And I wasn't sure if I was going to pick up anything else by this author. But having seen the hype around this book and like the synopsis and everything I thought oh. then I realized it was the same author and then I was like mm. and then I thought about getting it and it just didn't really know where to begin because of all of the different editions that they have um and then obviously the lock library announced their version well they announced a theme that made me think it was their version um yeah, this, I'm really, really happy with what they've done. Look at those edges. I think that is nicer, the nicer edges than all of the ones that I've seen so far. Um, and I think the cover is nicer as well. Like the fairy loot cover is a little bit, it's nice, but I think this is nicer. Um, I'm not biased because it's purple or anything, but I am excited to read this. And this is such a stunning book. I am really, really pleased with this. I can't wait to read it. Once I do, I will post a review on my website included in the description box below. Um, I need to get through my reading list because it's getting long again. Um, let me know what you think. Um, what edition of this book have you gone for? If you've gone for it and what edition from what you've seen now has been your favourite. I know the Lock Library has kept it tightly under wraps because that's the whole point of a special edition box. But um or like a monthly box but let me know from what you've seen like this fairy loot the waterstones one i think barnes and noble have done a limited edition one what has been your favorite what one do you think is the prettiest who do you think did it best for me definitely the locked library because the purple and the rainbow foiling look i just love that i wish it was sunnier here in england so that you could see this better because it's not doing it justice on the camera but yeah, so let me know what you think. Um, and if you like this video, please drop a like and a subscribe. Totally fine if not. Um, if you do, you'll get a notification next time I post a video. And I will see you for the next one.